Hello everyone, it's Professor Oleander, and I know it's been a little bit of time since uh, <clears throat> I've done a video. There's a couple of reasons for it. The uh, My work schedule had gotten a little crazy, uh, then I got sick, and then things changed again, and I had some other stuff going on, and I took a little bit of a break from Railroader, but um, trying to get back into the swing of it a little bit here and I thought that uh, tonight would be a good night to do it. I've actually made a couple of videos uh, in between the last one and this one ended up deleting them because I ended up going off on tangents and some stuff that I really didn't want to put on YouTube because it was just it wasn't political it was more just disappointment in certain members of not just the railroader community, but like just rail fans in general, people that feel entitled, people that have very strong opinions that uh, belittle other people. And I just, I went off on some rants that I really didn't want to, uh, <clears throat> didn't want to put out there because, um, you know, I didn't want to offend anybody. And I also didn't want to start controversy or whatever so i'm actually i'm allergy season is like here because we've had like let's see i think it's supposed to get to 80 today and uh i couldn't sleep because i've had a headache and by no um fault of my own i ended up with a milkshake <clears throat> We went out to eat earlier, and it took like 20 minutes. We were stuck in the drive through line, and uh, when I got up to the window, they were like, Hey, sorry, you want a free milkshake? And it's like, sure. This was at like 1130 at night, so yeah, no sleep for me. Uh, let's see if that helps. Anyway, so we're back on the SOL. This is day number 30. And we have a bit of a mess. Now, I just spent like two hours working on this this save earlier. And I got most of the... What's the word that I can say? Confabulation taken care of. And I'll tell you what happened. I had this railroad squared away and I installed a mod and the mod actually allows the interchanges to be serviced throughout the day regardless of whether you've got cars queued or not and I did not realize that when you installed the mod it's like active and they go ahead and service you well I ended up with both interchanges being serviced for tier 5 after I had just finished the stuff for tier five so now i have a railroad that is like slam full of cars and all of my engines are in the exact wrong positions so i've been working on that and not to mention i just managed to put a massive 63 car pulpwood train on rail red marble to that's going to be the pulpwood supply for Andrews and I'm having to saw by that train to get it up there I only have to do that once once those cars are over there then it should be a lot easier to maintain but I'm in the middle of all that and I'll actually show you yes I'm running the mod I don't remember which one this is called <clears throat> it's on the, the official discord server which I will link in the description uh, I'm actually running several mods. One of them is the map mod that adds more tracks. And the reason why is because I have a railroad that is absolutely full of cars right now. And it's just easier for me to do all that. The thing I like about this map mod is I don't have to run in CTC mode anymore. So I can pretty much do all of my switching from here. And I can dispatch trains from the map which is so great. 
why are Oh, because I went on the wrong track. I was going to say, why is it not showing me that they're spotted? So, we need to tell you to go forward. I had it lined up correctly the first time. But the nice thing about this map mod is I can throw the switches from up here. And I can do all of my dispatching from here. The drawback of that is that I can't... It's hard for me to... Um, control trains like I want them to have meat I have to be very careful about how I do that but the nice thing about this mod the other nice thing about this mod is I can place flares so like let me see let me just pick one right there you can see I just click on that and then I can click it off so so he's about ready let's go ahead and do that through that switch and now he'll spot himself on the pulpwood spurs here. I'm getting these pulpwood cars ready to go because, oh, and another thing this mod does is you can expand your map, which is perfect. And I'll show you, actually, while I'm thinking about it, these are the mods that I'm running. All of these right here, this is ADFR, this is Kevin's Dirty Shoot, this is the one that allows you to use Robinson Cole to <coughs> uh, refill your uh, captive service coal cars to fill up your towers. Why are you not stopping? Throw some more brake on. Okay. So these are the ones here. These are the map mods. So the Alarca Balloon Track, Alarca Junction Additional. This is the map mod, Alina's map mod. These are all the sections that I'm currently have installed in the game. And then I have one here for the Andrews Interchange. I'll show you that one in just a second. This is the one that got me in trouble. Uh, this is the continuous service or class one continuous delivery. See that I've got continuous service set off. Uh, if you turn this on, it will check every two and a half hours. And if you've got cars that are ready to come in, it will go ahead and send them to you. I, that's what, this is what messed me up. And you can read all that later. All from Grace. Um, this allows you to change your penalty and some of your, I um, can't remember if this one changes payouts or not. Interchange to interchange. This allows me to get the uh, have to take cars from Andrews Interchange to Silver Interchange and get paid for it. Interchange Unchained. This allows you to use all of your interchange tracks. Uh, previously, you only got two. Move the equipment. Anything that I put in the interchanges, like if I have a locomotive stationed on the interchange or if I had fuel cars that needed to be reserviced, this moves them out of the way. Then that's a horn pack for the diesels, serial traffic controller. This is mainly for if you're going to use the um, desktop browser dispatch board, like I, I think I've showed it before. Um, you need that. Strange Customs. This allows you to... Um, Actually, I'm going to turn that one on. So they have, they'll they either spawn in looking like they're at 60% condition or 100, and you can change that. Um, <clears throat> silver interchange. This is, it adds more tracks. And then Silver Y and the Whittier Yard. Whittier Yard's been expanded. We'll look at that here in just a second. Okay, so we are spooted. I want to go ahead and set the brake. And then break, break you loose. And we want to send you third. I was going to say it's almost quicker for me to do it. Let's see if there should. No, that train's not all going to fit right there. Um, yeah, I have to get these. I have to get this train going because. Um, 
don't... Because I had to service the interchange twice today, uh, I think most of my places have run out of materials. I know Robinson Coal has run out, even though it hasn't given me... Um, it hasn't given me the message. I know that both of the boxcars are empty, so they're out. And Snowbird, I haven't serviced them at all yet, so they haven't. They don't have anything. And then the one that I'm worried about, which I think they still got plenty. Uh, paperboard, they're at 55. And they're at, okay, we got plenty. The one that's out completely is the sawmill. Yeah, they're out. Which is weird. Uh, production stop. I th there's not cars there, I don't think. Where is there? Oh, I gotta go down there. And oh, there are cars. Okay. So, yeah. So this is one of the mods here. It adds all these tracks here for Whittier and it ties in on the other end. So now I can kind of change everything. And that's one of the things I got to sit down and, and work with this mod on. Okay. So there's two things that need to be done here at the moment. There you can see that's the pulp wood drain that I'm working with. Ugh. You are going way too far. I need you to go back. You actually need to go back here. I thought I had thrown that switch, but apparently I didn't. I need you to go down this track. I want you to stop right there. Okay, so that'll take care of him. And now I need to go to Watar. Actually, we need to get this train going because they need these engines need to get down to the interchange. I think I can't remember if I've got two engines down there already. I do not. I don't think passenger train six hundred one fourteen hundred one that needs to be turned around. I do not have engines, and this is the other. These are the stub tracks here for storage. And then this is the Y that got added. So that'll help, because I've been sending the Berkshire down here, and that'll um, that'll facilitate me being able to turn it. And I think there is one that adds a Y for Dillsboro, but I don't have it. And you've got the Y in Whittier. And Andrews also has some more tracks. So you add some more tracks right here. And then the other one is a Larka Junction. Now it has a runaround track. Which is, a, it is kind of handy. See, it has a runaround here for the Y. So that way you don't block the Y when you've got cars. Um, the next train that comes through has to pick up. Uh, see, these are going. Okay, these are where they need to be. These cars are working for the. We're currently doing the Alarca expansion. I've got more cars. There's supposed to be a yard that's going to get built here, too. So, anyway. So, what we need to do is I want to get. I need to drop off these cars here. And I've already got the ones here. So I'm trying, I'm playing catch up at the moment. So let's go ahead and take this cut. And I want to um Okay, so we're gonna cut here. And then we're just going to, I can drop these off on the way to Whittier. On the, I mean, not Whittier, but uh, Wilmot. So, uh, I think I mentioned that I had, I'm not using Absolute anymore. 
and the reason being is uh, it's just easier to throw the switches from here instead of having to jump back and forth or something. So what we want to do, let's select this one. We want to set us a hand brake on this car here. And then we want to uncouple it. I was going to pull the whole, the whole string forward, but it's just easier to do this. So these cars here are going to be bound for uh, Dillsboro. I'm trying to come up with a little bit better flow than what I've got now. And now that I have all these tracks, it, it will help. So I don't have to run everything through yards because even though the yards have decent amount of trackage there's still the length of the trains that I'm running and then once you get up to tier 5 there's so many cars that come in you just can't keep up and you're like constantly having uh, trains running all the time and when you're in single when you're doing it single player like I am it is extremely difficult so what I'm going to do, I want to check my switch here. Uh, I'm actually going to let the AI take this back to couple onto those cars. And I need to grab him. I want you to back up. We'll keep you at 15. So I'm just gonna let him go and he'll stop before he gets to those, couple on to him and then we'll go from there. I've got a switch open somewhere, don't I? Or do I? Oh, it's cause the block's occupied. That's why I forgot, okay. Let me do this first then. Let me get him started. At least get him past the uh get him past the signals. I was gonna do a video on the recent um whatever you want to call it showcase for Century of Steam, and I decided not to. I'm going to wait until they get all their um, stuff out. Because it, I I didn't want to knock them, because the, the firing thing that they're getting ready to do is, uh, is actually really cool. But I, I won't get into it. They... There's a couple of things that I don't necessarily agree with, but I, I still want to play the game to see... Um, to see how it's all going to work out. So now that we have these lovely new yard tracks here, I guess we can go ahead and start designating here how we want to do this. So I've got cars here that are going to be bound for Andrews, and it's just these three. And I reckon I need to set up some tracks here how I want to do this. Um, it actually, I think I'm going to use these tracks that are over here for, um, like through traffic. And this is going to be more storage because as you can see right now, I've got most of the yard tied up here with, uh, skeleton cars for the, um, for logs. We've got plenty of logs and storage and I need to do a turn for that. And uh, let's see how much coal we got. 80 tons left there. He's over here without anything to do. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these cars uh, back over into the upper yard. So we'll call this one because I think that's that's the south. So we'll take we'll call this one the lower yard. This one will be the upper yard or the north yard, south yard, something like that. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to put all these skeleton cars over here because they'll all fit on one track. So let me do that. 
I think this little chew can can handle all this. And there's my signal that he's looking at another train. Always check your water. So one of the updates that just recently came out, which is another reason why I haven't done any videos, is because they've been doing, they've had like this massive string of updates. I can't even remember what all they've done. Um, it's really kind of crazy how fast they're going with development now. Um, I think we've had three updates in the last two weeks, fairly sizable ones. So, um, good progress I'm actually curious to see what direction they start going once they get um, most of the feature stuff done and this starts to get away from early access I'm wondering if they're gonna do some map expansions because it's been talked about um, personally I would like to see this the line going east back towards Asheville is it I have to look back at the map, but going, going back. To, yeah, it is Asheville because Murphy's the other way. Um, <clears throat> that's what I want to see. Cause that's about, I think it's another 50 or 60 miles. It might be a little bit more than that, but, uh, to me, that would be interesting. All right, let's go ahead and move this on. Get all these cars out of the way. So we'll designate this one here as the transfer or the transfer lead or whatever you want to call it. And then we'll just start with, we'll leave the lower track here. Actually, we'll use this one for the run around because it's shorter. I want to leave that long track uh, for storage. And I thought I was done buying locomotives because I have a crap ton of locomotives at this point. And I am not. I actually need to buy more, much to my chagrin. I have at least, um, I think I have at least five more to buy. And I'm actually, well, here I'll show you. This is the, the number of locomotives that I have right now. I don't even, I've lost count. There's over 30 there, I think. But as you can see, I'm leveraging pretty heavily on the C55s. Most of these are double-headed. Like I can tell you 734 and 735, 736 and 737 are all double-headed. 738 is by itself, and I think 739 is by itself. Uh, the rest of them, uh, various things, C25, I'm actually working with one of them right now, the other C25, this is, that's this one, the 19 works Bryson, the K35, or I'm sorry, the 110 is working, where is the 110 working? I think I sent the 110 to Andrews. I don't remember. This is an Andrews, Andrews, Andrews. Uh, these two are working Silva. These are road engines. This is a road engine. Uh, this 23 Dillsboro. These are my passenger engines. Two of these, I think 280 and 2080 and 2081 are working Connolly, and then 2083 is also in Andrews. And then, of course, all that stuff there. Two passenger trains, eight cars apiece. I mean, I'll show you the finances. We're doing pretty good. Big old loan right there because I had to buy a crap ton of equipment. And was it yesterday or was it the day before? Yeah, you see, I bought a whole bunch of equipment down in here. But yeah, um, 
today has not been a good day because we've been spending a lot of money. But yesterday we made 27000 which is on par, but that was not counting some other things. And we're going to have two services today, so um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. There is a mod that actually highlights where these air hoses are disconnected and there's another one that does the auto connect and I refuse to use it just because, um, yeah, just because. So I reckon we need to, how do I want to do this? We're going to take this out onto the main. Let me see. We want to do this here. Let's go ahead. It's 511 tons. These are not very heavy cars. So let's go on ahead, take this out to the main, and then we'll just bring it straight on down into that track there. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put a foozle right there. And we'll we'll get these here later. While that's going on, I can go ahead and switch over to this one. This is one of the nice things about this map bot is because I can see the cars now, I can actually, while I'm watching this train, I can go in here and I can say, okay, I want you to back up, let's just say five cars, and that should get them to a couple. And then I can, I can watch him couple while I'm uh, getting this organized here. Actually, this is how I got Bryson cleared out earlier because Bryson was an absolute mess. I had probably a hundred, 120 cars in Bryson earlier between the Pulpwood train and the cars for the train that just got into Whittier and then the cars that were already in Bryson plus the locomotives. There was probably 120, 130 cars up there. Um, and it was just easier for me to, to do it this way. One thing that would be nice, and this is where the auto coupling, the air hoses would come in handy. Um, if I could go on here and I could say couple the air hoses. Even if it's just something like what they've got with, uh, uh, let's see. Well, it, I have to do it with one of my captive cars. I can use this one right here. But see how it's got this? If it had one, one of these to do air hoses, that would make my life a whole lot easier. Because, uh, because then I could do all that, release the handbrakes and everything, and then send him on. I could be I could multitask. If you haven't figured it out from watching the other videos, I multitask a lot. It's just I'm able to read the matrix here. Okay. I'm gonna make you turn you into AI. And then we're gonna go up here and go ahead and get these ready while that's going on. I think it was this FEC car. Nope, wasn't him. It's right there. Alright, so I had no handbrakes on that train. Which oh, I'm, that's because I'm not I don't have that train selected. Yeah, I thought I did. Alright, I was gonna say that's totally not like me. All right, so instead of having that one set, we're going to go up here and we're going to set this one. And then we're going to break that loose. And we'll pick 734 again, and we're going to send him forward. Maybe. Oh, let's send it forward. There it goes. And I have a 
red signal probably because this is the other handy handy dandy thing that this uh, this map mod does is that before you had to go and hunt down which switch was open and now all I gotta do is just I can watch right here and remove that one I can just watch here and wait for them to uh, man he's still not gonna fit okay so we'll just Pull that out. Then I can get him loose. Because I need to I need to throw that main line switch. He must have he must have pulled down a slug of air all right well while I'm waiting on him I'll just go ahead and manually run these guys through Slowed him down to five so that way I can I can sit here and watch. Alright, what okay, it's this one. Okay, I see it now. I thought I looked at that and I had it the right way. That should fix him. And get this one stopped. And we'll throw that switch there. And then we need to get him past the Dumaflachi. Once that's done, we can do the thing again. So I only need him to move about two more cars and say stop. That's probably a little far, but that's all right. That gives it plenty of room. There's more than enough tracks in there now. Okay. Where have we got? I'm going to go ahead and throw these guys into yard mode. Reverse. Give them 20 cars. And now I'm going to swap over to here. And while that's going on, I can keep an eye on this. So this is it it makes my my task a little bit easier if i can do two things at once so like right now the ai after a couple of updates they've gotten significantly better where i don't have to worry about them slamming into cars or or whatever um i can sit here and watch them couple even though i am running a mod I can sit here and watch them couple while that's going on and I can see what his clearances are and I'm going to tell him two more cars and now I know he's going to couple. So I can just take control of this one and there you see he's coupled. Like I said the only thing that I needed to do was just go in here tie his air hose which I can technically do right now. Go in here, tie his air hose, do that, let him sit there and charge for a minute. Now I can switch back over here, tell him to stop, throw the switch, tell 
him to back up. And then just let him run all the way down to the other end. Turn those off. Let him just run all the way down there. And while that's going on, I can grab this one. Tell him he is ordered to go over the road. He's got he should have his greens. And that switch is thrown. So now I can send him on down to Wilmot. Foozle right. Ah, wrong button. I want to do that. And the next thing I can do is I can send this guy forward. I need to send him out to swap out these cars. And I don't think I've got anything up there waiting. I don't. Of course I don't. We still got plenty of, of wood. You are going the wrong way, sir. Okay, so while that's going on, now I can go over, did 801 stop? 801 stopped. 801 can go ahead and do that. This is one of the reasons why I don't like running in absolute. Okay, 31's at the other end of the Whittier siding. Should start moving here in just a second, and he is. As soon as he clears the signals, I can throw that switch. This is what happened before. Was I? I thought I put a few Z up, but I think I had the switch thrown. So now we can do that. He's lying to go down that track, and he'll stop. And the thing that I. This is the rest of the cars here. I tried to shove it up the hill. It was just too heavy. So he's taking 15 cars at a time and he can handle that. Um, and like I said, I only have to do this once. So basically we're going to take, once I get about half of the train off, I'm going to throw the other 15 can go up there and they'll shove it up and then we can get it up there. And I need to actually check my map. I think that siding will hold 12 cars. So he's got 15 on there right now. So let's go up here because that's where we're going to be. And the other thing I like about this mod is you can see, you can tell which cars are spotted. See that change? Yeah, see there. All right. I need to select him. And we've got all these cars spotted. Which one have we got? Alright, shut up. Let's go ahead and take that fusey off and we'll come back another another half or so. So one of the changes that they they did make, and I don't necessarily agree with it. I mean, I get where they're coming from, but it used to be Graham County serviced like an interchange, so it only serviced once a day. Um, I can see why it was done. I don't necessarily agree with it, but <clears throat> basically now it services just like all the other loadouts where it services continually through the day. All right, good enough. So now that that's in there, we can how many cars have I got spot this is the last one so we're gonna apply and then we're gonna do this actually no we're not can I come back any further I can all right a little bit further that way I've got a little bit more clearance up there yes I know I'm shoving against the handbrake but that's that's all right I did a a calculation for the power to weight ratios on locomotives and the Berkshire was probably it was one of the worst and the reason being is because it it um, 
it's so heavy. I mean, it, it takes most of its power just to move itself around. It, it's great on flat land, but when you get up on the heavy grades, it doesn't... Crap, crap. I forgot this is a heavy grade. Alright. Back up here. So that's note to self. Put two handbrakes on. This was a problem that they had at Robinson Cole, where when the cars were spotted, they would roll away. So. Nothing but a thing. And these pulpwood cars are fairly heavy once they're loaded. I think they're they're somewhere around 80 tons. I've got it wrote down somewhere because I was figuring up train. Uh, Helps me throw the brake on. Um, but I was figuring up train tonnages, trying to figure out what kind of engines that I needed. And lo and behold, pulpwood cars are heavy. I think they weigh um I wanna say it's seventy. Okay, that's enough. Two brakes. This one, this one, and we'll set three just to say we did. All right, now we should be able to uncouple. But yeah, the Burke is so heavy on these three percents, you, you're better off with the C55. Actually, I don't want to go... Well, yeah, we'll use this one. Um, you're better off using a C55 than a Burt, just because um, the Burt sure wastes so much power just getting itself rolling and keeping itself moving. Whereas the C55 is lighter and has... Even though it has less tractive effort, it's still able to to move more. right now he's only got 465 tons and he's struggling to go up this grade even though it's only 3.7 so Burks are overrated this Berkshire was actually destined for something else and it actually escapes me what I got it for I think the plan was it was never going to work on this side of the mountain. It was always going to be on the Andrew side. I was never going to have to bring it up the, the grade. And out of necessity, because there's no way to sell... Well, I mean, I could sell the engine if I wanted to. Um, out of necessity, uh, I didn't want to buy another locomotive, so I just ended up using this one because I'd already bought it. So, anyway. So let's get him out of here and send him back down to pick up another 15. So we've pulled off 15. 15 more. We'll leave 30 cars. 30. And I'm trying to remember how much those cars weigh empty. Um, I think it's 25 tons. But, um, we'll go down and pick up those cars. There should be enough. Actually, I can probably bring these up with what I've got down there now. Now that I think about it. Because the whole train, that train empty was 1,500 I'm sorry, it was night it was two thousand. Two thousand and some change, which was too much. It was just too much for those two to handle. Um, so now I'm gonna see once I get these coupled back together, I'm gonna see how much um 
I'm gonna see if they can bring it up. Matter of fact, I can go down there and find out how much it is now. Find out how much this train weighs. 1271. By the time I put that one on there, it'll be um should be about 17. And let me just look. Consult the book of lies. Three and a half. 828 and 708. It's going to be like right there at it. Twelve seventy one. How much is this one weigh? This is four sixteen. Twelve seventy one and four sixteen is yeah. It's gonna be like right there at the limit. What did I say? Eight eight something and seven something, which is fifteen. Yeah, it's it's gonna be overweight. So I'm just gonna cut off uh, how many cars. I should I should have looked at that before I put it up. It. Uh, that track holds 13 there's two on there now so I need to grab 11 cars off and then the rest of it can come up like that so while that's going on who just who just about run into a fusey okay 734 is sitting at little mutt here so let's go and Get this sorted. Make sure they got water. They got plenty. All right. Let's see. Schley, Micah, and Schist. I know that sounds like a German name. That is actually. Uh, I forget. It's it's the it's a type of stuff that they mine for. I can't remember if it's a mineral or if it is a type of rock or if it's a classification of a type of debris that comes off of rock. Let's see if that one goes. Yeah, last track. We're going to do that and then we're going to wait a minute for just a second. I need to see what's in Dillsboro. Because I finally got Dillsboro cleaned out. Okay. Because I know I've got cars that are going to go to Dillsboro now. And I'm probably going to go ahead and stop in Dillsboro anyway and go ahead and turn these two engines around. Because as soon as they get to Silva, they have to pick up this stuff from the interchange and come out. Because you can see it's 530 and I really need to get the passenger trains running. And I th think the one that's in Silva is ready. I can tell you here very quickly if it is. It is ready. Okay, so this one's ready. The one at Andrews is not. I don't think. I can't remember if I turned both of them. I did turn both of them. Okay. Good enough. Well, we made, what is that, $172? The goal for today is to stay over $18,000. So you can see we've got 21 in the bank. So I'm not too worried about it. I can't spend anything today. But like I said, we're going to go down to Dillsboro, drop off all this stuff, just drop off those cars, uh, probably just going to put those in the yard, and then while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and turn these two engines around and then basically shove everything up into uh, Silva. 
so that I can just go in there, grab the interchange cars, and book it. I really need to get the the main line cleared before uh, before the passenger trains run. The Andrews side of things is not too bad, but the problem that I'm I'm running into with Andrews is my two engines are not there, and it's it hasn't got me panicked, but it's like I have desperately got to get the engines out that way, or we're going to be in trouble. Before you say anything, yes, I know I'm that good. Thank you for noticing. All right, go away. Still gonna be right at capacity. Or no, I take it back. He's fine. He is fine. Okay, that's where 602 ended up. So 602 is a 46. Let me check. Let me check. I've actually done this before like this, and I may do it again to save some change. C46. He can handle that. What I'm going to do is while the other two engines are getting turned around, I'm going to put, actually, no, I'm just going to put, I'll put 602 on and let him take the train to Silva while they're being turned. That way I don't have to wait. Um, so what I'm going to do is that switch is already turned. That's actually going to mess me up. So we're going to do that. Um, if I had let that open, they'd stop here at Cowie or Cowie as it's called. So what we will do is they will come down the They'll come down that track, listen here, and I'll park them 22 cars. I think there's enough room to make sure I'm going to stop them right there. And I'm actually going to tell 602 to go forward. Just to make sure he stops, we'll just throw a fusee down there. Um, let's see. That car is empty. I think that car is empty. Why don't we go see? Pretty sure that one's empty. It is empty. Okay, so this one is bound for... We'll go ahead and we'll cycle him. So he's bound for Robinson Cole. What happened to my other tracks? So that might be a conflict. I can probably fix that very quickly here. should fix that. Back in here and there we go. Okay. That'll fix that. Um these cars here are gonna go I didn't have the right one. All right, so they can go on. Uh, one of these has got to go here. How much is in the tower now? 127. I can probably 
I can probably get by. Alright. This one needs to go there as well. So the next train that comes through needs to pick up all these. Because I... How many have I got? I've got one, two, three, four. I've got four ready. I've actually got one that's at the mine now that needs to be picked up. We need to go ahead and... Get this moved over. I will be so glad if somebody will come up with a better control for the turntable. Um, okay, so... Big train come down this track here. He gonna stop. Cut the engines off. Run over 602. Grab them. Send them on to Silva. What's sitting over here? Uh, I think that ACL car is ready to go. Yes, it's ready to go to the interchange. So we'll probably go ahead and grab that one. This one is not. These two are going to Andrews. We'll get them here in a little bit when the Dillsboro local runs. Uh, I don't think I've got any cars. One's still sitting here. I need to go ahead and get him out of the way. It's not urgent, but I'm I need to get him out of the way. I actually need to get this one out of the way too. So let's see. Or is, is fourteen oh two in the siding? It is, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Never mind. That's why I didn't move him. We do want to make sure these cars are being loaded, which I'm sure they are. Make sure that's all copied to couple. He is fully loaded. I have a suspicion all these cars are full. Yep. So they're just waiting for six o'clock to roll around. And then we've got one more pickup. I think this one's ready to go. Yep, he's ready to go. The nice thing is that now I can see how long they've got before the, uh, see how it's due 16 hours from now. And I'll get paid 62 bucks. Let's see here. These should all be empty. Yeah, because they're green. They're due, they're going to Walker. These two. These are not ready. These should be ready. Yep, they're ready. And those are not. I don't have anything there. And then I got all these cars up here ready to go. And this yard is going to be so helpful because now I can... This, this interchange is actually full and it's going to service here in... Uh, it'll service at 8 o'clock. So I gotta get all these out of the way. But now now I can take the silver cars and actually put them over here into this yard instead of having them sorted all over the place. So it looks like we've got a mix of cars that are going to... Uh, these are the Robinson cars. Those are Robinson cars. This is all Andrews. All that right there is going to Snowbird. The, some of these cars, I think these two and these two are going to Wilmot. These are going to Paperboard. There's some more coal cars. We've got Bryson, Whittier. That's probably going to go to Ella or Ella. What else we got? Or no, that's the wrong color for Ella. <clears throat> then I have some stuff over at and Woos. A bunch of stuff over here. I've got a bunch of engines here, but they're the wrong ones. Not quite as full. So yeah, this is all Robinson Cole. Actually, I bet some of this is the Alarca Junction stuff. Um... This is paperboard for Andrews. Where are these going? Interesting. I'm rightly curious. 
almond supply staging. So this is something entirely different. Antahala Public Delivery. Oh, okay. I know where those are. So Snowbird Paper. This is all the power stuff. Uh, we got a bunch of coal cars that are going. Hopefully they sent me a whole buttload of mining supplies. Okay, so we got we got plenty of stuff. It looks like most of the stuff that's up here is going to be working this end of the railroad. And then I don't have any... I don't have anything for... Oh, I do. There's one right there. There's one of my interchange to interchange. So this one, this one's just a straight through. So is this one. And looks like that's probably it. Uh, what else we got going on? We're... Ah, crap. Oh, yes, pass the signal. I'm so glad they added that, that button. I didn't even notice that he was stopped. What did I say? I need to cut 11 cars off of this. All right. <clears throat> so one of the things that does bug me a little bit is I don't know how much in the way of mining supplies that they have left. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten anything that says they have stopped production. So they're still going. And what have I got left here? I got four. I got six more, so that's roughly six hours is what I've got left. And then I have to get these out of here and get them sorted. This is the other thing now, because I've got Robinson coal cars coming from both ends of the railroad, I have to kind of plan which way I'm going to go with it. Um, because the this long-ass string of coal cars right here has got to go over uh, red marble. Which is why I said I probably have to buy, I think I said five, but it's probably going to end up being six. And um, I need to have, I need to send one more C-55 down to Nantahala to work as helper service. And I'm just going to double head the helpers. Um, trying to keep the tonnage on the trains below, uh, what did I say before? I had a number in my head and now it's it's completely escaped me. Um, I want to say that it was like a thousand tons or something like that. I can't remember. I had it worked out at one point and I haven't played in a while. So it's been a little bit. Okay. So I know why this happened. Luckily it did. I don't think it's going to count as a derailment. This happened because of, uh, because of the map mod. The reason why I say that is because this track got added and I didn't even think about that. So what I need to do is I reckon I need to teleport my guy down here and we need to, I don't remember getting a notification that these had derailed. So, um, ah, crap. Yeah, they did. So there goes our safety rating. That's all right. I'm not too terribly worried about it. All right, 801's in position. Oops, shift R, not control R. So we get that one back up. These, these cars don't cost me any money. This is, these are for the, you derailed, you re-railed.
they're probably not coupled together. That's probably why. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to move these cars around. But um, yeah, that derailed them. That sucks. Anyway, whatever. I mean, our safety rating was already down a little bit anyway, just because of some stuff that I was doing. That's zero. I am going to go ahead and just cheat so that, uh, let's see, here's Hanbox. All right, what cars are what? Let's see here. Now I got to remember the command. It's, uh, yeah, let me see. What is the command? It's set. It's just set. I kept on wanting to say set load. I'm like, that's not it. So we want to... Let's see. Set. RDG. I have a bad habit of hitting that. I actually hit my stop record button. So we want to say set RDG two eight nine three four. Actually, there's no spaces. No space. Undershore condition. One. And there's hundred percent. And then we want to do the same thing for. FP 50, 56, and then we'll do the same thing for LMN here. Let me make sure that that's okay, it is that way. L and N. Two, three, nine, three, six. All right, they're all at a hundred percent. It. I don't know if it's going. I don't remember seeing a derailment message, but we'll see what happens. Um. So now we can go back into mode and let me just make sure yeah it looks like it it did it did affect all these cars hopefully I don't know we'll see what my safety rating goes to okay But yeah, I, I didn't even think about these cars being down here. I thought that run around went beyond that. I forgot I had these sitting here at the end of the track. Chances are once all this finishes, that's going to probably derail again. So whenever I respot the next set of cars, which is going to be way later this afternoon. I've got all these cars over here that are waiting as well. Um, these are all waiting to go to the same site which I need to go ahead and put them over there. I don't know why I haven't. Um, just the one. Um, so yeah, the next tracks that get added for the yard, I th think it goes over in here. I, I have to go back and look at the pictures, but um, yeah. Let's see, how long have we gone? Well, I can't tell now. Be here in just a second. Uh, you might hear some. I'm actually looking at the video because I stopped. That went for an hour and six and three minutes. Okay, we'll go just a little bit longer with this because I haven't made a video in a while. Okay. 
That sucks because now I have to go through and run this through the editor. But it's all good. It won't take long. I'm actually using DaVinci now. And I, before that, I was using Sony Vegas. And Sony Vegas took forever to render anything. And now DaVinci can render out the same videos in like 20 minutes, if even that. So, And the file size is significantly smaller. Okay, 552 and 734 is here. Let's go ahead and remove that. It's so nice to be able to do this without having to run all over the map. All right, so he should come down here. He's going to stop for that. 1402 is out of the or 1401 is out of the way. 601 is down here taking on water. Um, let me think. That's what I'm going to do. I forgot 601 was there. So we're going to take 601 because we've got the dimensional lumber. He's going to be here for a bit. These cars are not. So since he's already loaded up with water, let's go ahead and um, go ahead and get these cars here out of the way. We'll help the Dillsboro local a little bit. That other car is not ready, right? Yeah, neither one of these are ready. So we'll get these cars out of the way and then um, we'll have to do some switching to get the silver car ready because I want to go ahead and just get them completely I want to get all the cars that are going to the Silva interchange gone did that. I didn't even throw the switch for it. I was thinking about something else. I was actually, I couldn't remember if these are stub end tracks. They are. Yeah, these are stub ends. trying to think of what it was there was something that I was just reading and now that's going to bug me there was a something that I've I've played here very recently where they said weather effects are are now a thing and it might have been railroads online because they were they were doing a bunch of updates which I may make a video on that but railroads online is still one of those games that kind of makes me mad when I play it because it's just like I I get what they're trying to do it's just annoying because of the implementation of it it's like on the premise of railroads online is actually pretty decent but the game the implementation of what they're trying to do is so terrible that it's just annoying that's why i'm i'm actually really uh interested in seeing how century of steam comes out because it's you know this game is a mashup between like run eight and railroads online and train simulator and you know a little bit of railroad tycoon in there but <clears throat> century of steam is kind of that to the next degree because those guys are like super super um 
detail oriented and I'm not saying that Adam's not it's just they're gonna throw simulation and everything else into it and I'm curious to see how that's gonna work because railroads online has not really done um, they haven't they have dealt with some of the simulation stuff to an extent um, but it leaves a lot to be desired. It's been tweaked a little bit here and there, but it's still kind of wonky. But, so I'm curious to see how that's going to end up going. The videos look promising, but they might be able to get that game out this year. It just, I don't know how much more they have to put into it. A, a, in terms of features, it sounds like they've still got quite a ways to go. But I don't know if their plan is to launch into early access or if they're going to want to go to 1.0 and have a fully released game. Which I've heard some people kind of give this game flack because it's it came out in early access instead of a full release. And it's like, well... I get it, and at the rate that they're developing, I'm actually, I'm, I'm fine with it. It gives them a little bit of flexibility to say, okay, what we, what we envisioned isn't going to work. So early access gives you the flexibility to go back in and say, okay, we need to kind of change the way that we were looking at this and makes it better. should be able to demonstrate some of these cars. It's a little bit easier using ABS mode because now I don't have to go I don't have to have the dispatcher screen up to to dispatch this. Which by the way, there's a new dispatcher for run eight, it's dispatcher.net. I've only had a chance to play with it once or twice and it is like night and day compared to what we had. And it's completely free. Those guys could have charged twenty or thirty bucks for that easily, because I know how much work Jonah and um, the other guys have actually put into it, and I'm actually kind of amazed that they decided that they were just going to go ahead and do it for free. But uh, Dispatcher.net, it's really cool platform, looks just like TCAS, and, um, or TSCAD, I'm sorry, TCAS is airplanes, but uh, TSCAD. And from what I know about modern day dispatcher screens, that's kind of what it looks like. All right, that should be plenty fast. Famous last words. Let's see, that switch is thrown. I gotta remember the 1401's back there, that's why I'm, I'm doing this. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. It's all right, we'll get it. That should be enough to get him there. All right, you can stop.
a little bit of a downhill so that should be more than plenty so I want to make sure he gets put in here make sure he gets spotted and he's spotted so we can go ahead and put that on he should have more than plenty And I'm actually going to take this car here and put him, put him down on top of the other one. Plenty of speed, so I'm not even going to worry about him. And because 601 needs to go to Silva, I'm just going to leave these guys here together. And we'll pick him up on the way. We'll just, when 602 comes up, we'll just pick up 601, have him couple to the front of it, and just go on about the Silva. So they should be ready to pick up now should have the twins over here ready to go and they should be in the clear which they are so we can take these two put them into manual mode and then we can this car apply the handbrakes it's 604 I need to get the passenger trains running they run so fast that they'll be a little bit ahead of schedule One of the updates that, that came out was the independent, now MUs. It used to be you had to use the automatic, so I'm glad that they did that. You gotta remember, this is back in the day before the MU control was a thing. So these were manned helpers. They didn't have a pass through cables, but I mean, certainly not for steam, but even for some of the early diesels. I think, I can't remember, what year they came out with MU hoses for them. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of when that, that whole system came out because GE had their own set of MU cables and I want to say it was a 27 pin and the EMDs were 21. I could have that wrong. Okay. He is good to go now. So, we need to set this up for him to come out of the yard lead. Go over to the thingamabob. Pick up the doohickey and then head south. Or head, that would be east. Alright, manual control. Take him. Because I can couple faster than he can. Switch.
I tell you, when they come up with wheel slip, if they're able to do it for this game, it's going to be annoying. Because it won't be any more of having to sit here and then go 100% throttle. You'll have to kind of baby it. Which I think is going to be one of those things that you can turn on and off. I did notice in the Century of Steam videos that they do not have wheel slip modeled yet. Because I've, I've straight up seen them take a heavy train and go 100% throttle and it just kind of like, okay, we're good. I have... Tell you that does not happen. <laughs> I, you you get on a steam locomotive with a heavy train, and you pull the throttle wide open and see what happens. You ain't gonna go nowhere. All right, I can give him orders to go forward now. We'll just keep him at fifteen, and then I want him to. Stay. Up before that switch right there. Alright, now what was I getting ready to do? Oh, I gotta get a one couple going. I can go here. Aim yard, forward, five cars ought to get it. going on. I can run over here, get him ready. I didn't want to do that on the hill because okay, he didn't hit too hard. I've done that before. This hill is so steep that I've seen them actually, the AI can't control it and they'll slam into him. So it didn't look like that's yeah. Uh, well, he took like 1% off. I'm not too worried about that. Our, our safety rating is going to go to hell anyway because of that stuff that happened over on Alarca. So it's not the end of the world. All right, 11 cars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cars. Got it right there. You can go backwards. Come on. 20 mile an hour. And then I need to... <sighs> really? So apparently three wasn't enough. I was sitting here wondering, I was like, why did that roll forward? And apparently what happened, apparently what happened is once they got some more weight on them, they rolled forward. Now that is a pain. So, the fix for that one means I got to go down here. I mean, I could, I could cheat and go into sandbox mode and move all the cars, but we're not going to do that. What I'm going to do is we're going to send out, what have I got here? These are too small. I've got the two eight. I've got that O eight O, and that is it. Well, I've got fourteen O twos up here, fourteen O three. So the heavy. So we're gonna take the. We'll send us a little rescue train out of here. What we want to do is we want to take. O three, 
and then we'll take the two eight the o eight o and that should be enough power to get them pushed up here because this is this is forty three plus fifty six right fifty one ninety that's more than enough that yes I know that I'm doing this here it's just gonna be easier to do already set all right well that sucks but we'll deal with it I can at least get let's see that guy should be underway now 801 should be on its way up here. Are you not? Or are you? That's that one. He's still not up here. Okay. Oh, because I haven't cut him loose. Or did I cut him loose? I thought I cut him loose. What in the... Oh, my God. Why did that one... How many cars is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why did... Or did it pull apart? I bet that's what happened. Let's see. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one twenty four nine seven three. Where's 124? And there it is right there. Okay. So, what happened? Why is the handbrake on? I, I like these things down here, but they are way too small. So there's two, four, six. It's the eighth car down. So there's two, four, six, eight this one okay so that's off it's 973 it's this one why is I don't know how that happened oh yeah I do know how that happened so when I broke away before I had four cars too many and I cut them loose and that's what ended up happening all right, so let's go get 1402 before we get too carried away. Perfect, he's right where he needs to be. I probably don't need this one, but I'm going to take him anyway. I'll just go ahead and follow him. I think this locomotive's got plenty on him, too. Yeah, he's got enough to do this. Because th this one has already been turned around. So we'll do an emergency rescue my thing, my jigger. And as soon as we get these cars headed that way, or get these locomotives headed that way, we'll go do the passenger train. I tell you, when it rains, it pours. This is just, it's been one thing after another. So how many cars that I said? I said, uh, was it 12 cars? Or was it 13? I'll find out here in a minute. 
Um, so three handbrakes is not enough. I guess I got to set five. If I really wanted to, I could pull up a timetable and find out for three and a half percent grade how many you need to set. Part of the problem was I didn't put a, I actually didn't put a, uh, air set on it. That would have probably stopped that. Okay, so let's do this. And then, uh, handbrake on. I didn't remember setting handbrake. All right, cut out. MU. All right. Where are you going? Oh, you're you're still in manual. All right, you can go into road and we'll clear you for forty-five because you're. And let's just check. Let's see here. I'm not gonna do the rescue in this one. I will. I will record it, but I'm just not gonna do it in this one. It's gonna take them ten or fifteen minutes to get there. Okay. I need to get this freight train. Out of the way so that I can run my passenger train. So let's grab this guy here, and we want to put you in manual, and then I want to set your handbrake, cut your cut lever. hate when the game lags like that because it'll uh, takes me a second to catch up with it. Alright, that cut out and you. I don't really need to do that, but I'm going to you've got a handbrake way off we go. They still need to do some performance optimizations because I'm I'm noticing some frame drops here and there. are ready, right? 
Okay, so what we want to do is we want to stop right here. And I think everything is lined. Make sure Silva's ready. Yeah, the runaround's ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and send these on to Silva. Six oh two is low on water. Thought I'd just I thought I checked it. That'll be alright. They need to get that train out of the way. There's two engines on there. So I could have swore that was that engine had some. I know I checked one of them. Which one did it say? 602. I swear I looked at that. Because yeah. I had 601 over there. I guess it was. I guess that was the one that I filled up. But I thought I filled them both up. No matter. They're one of them can handle it. Okay, with her. What to her? I guess I need to go ahead and get these. We'll go ahead and these guys here. Um, turn around. We'll go ahead and get this set up. Go. No, that's not right. That's for pulp wood. That's for logs. Okay. So I reckon we'll go over here. It's actually not set up right. Alright, so while that's going on, um, I guess we can go over and wait for the passenger train to get clear. It's so nice to be able to do this. I know I've said it a hundred times, but it's like, it's so nice to be able to, to be watching these and know exactly where the cars are and be able to handle all this stuff without having to leave. All right, lined, lined, lined. And lined. there and keep an eye out on it. So I think that one of the other things that they added is now you can resume speed.
We'll do 25 for that one. All right, he's off. And so we should start getting some pretty decent money in. 602's run out of water, which is not the end of the world because I got plenty of, I still got plenty of power on that train. Or did he just completely stop? Probably stopped, okay. Oh, he defaulted the manual. That's why. All right. Do this. So why that went back and I guess they've got it set up now where if you just hit MU it does that. So that's a little new. So let's do this. Let's cut you out. Like I said, I knew this was going to have plenty of power. If the brakes will release. I think I'm going to pull up shove back down in here because this is downhill so and that'll get us the right way around to to handle all this and then I'll switch this one out in the next video and I promise I'll make a video on it because I've actually done a fair amount of work on the railroad in between the videos and I'll explain what the goal was uh, for the um, for this railroad in the next video I was going to go into it on this one but there's just so much stuff going on that I'm trying to I want to focus on getting a lot of this stuff hammered out so that I have a flow to how we're going to operate. Alright. So now we want to very gently kiss these cars and then we want to shove them. I'm actually going to go ahead and release that handbrake so that these cars will start rolling. All right, 629, he's in Dillsboro. Oh, he stopped at a red board. All right, one thing at a time. Why is he stopped at a red board? That doesn't make any sense. That board should, oh, I know why that's board red, because this is switched. I thought I threw it back. He shouldn't move. And a matter of fact, he doesn't acknowledge the signal, so. Um, he shouldn't move. So he'll be there for 15 minutes, so about 6.45 he'll leave. So we're going to be running more or less 15 minutes behind. It's not the end of the world. Main thing is I want to pick up all of the, the rush hour. Alright, full brakes, or full throw. going on I'm gonna set up a we're gonna plan on going in here and pushing these out of the way and then I'll fill up 602 
one of the things I'm going to do is we're going to turn off that damn rear headlight. So they they did a thing where they had a both dim setting. I think there might have been a both bright, and they they did away with it because some of the diesels had that, but the steam locomotives got it too because I guess that's the way the game's coded. They they took it off. Um, I don't think I've ever run across a steam locomotive that had that capability because the dynamos, um, most of the dynamos on steam locomotives just do not put out enough power to run both headlights. But some of the, some of the locomotives that I have are, are still kind of legacy. So they're still set up like that from before. They just won't do it now. 1403 is it topped and so he's top of grade now. Yeah, topped and east, so he's on top of the grade. So the next, what was that one? That was approach. Alright, so he's getting ready to get a stop. Get this past this fusee and then we'll send them on. How many cars have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, three, six, seven. Um, so these are no great rush. I've still got plenty of those and I haven't even serviced anything here yet, so. And that's fine. I just, I need to pull the silver cars off. I need to get, make sure that gets back over there. Okay. Road, reverse. Six for Dillsborough. take them another minute or so to get here all right so we'll fix this and then we'll we'll call that one good for today so basically I set did I set two handbrakes or did I set three I set three so we'll just say six handbrakes we'll say 50% of the consist and that should be sufficient. I hear my train coming. Go ahead and put him in manual control. I gotta be careful so that he doesn't get too carried away here. This is a 3.7. Oh, I know what switch is lining against them. I'll fix that here before we do this. I only threw one of the siding switches.
I just want to make sure they're moving. I'll fix that later. All right, 1403. Let's just go ahead and put air on this. And we want to get all these handbrakes off. little more should be plenty set on it all right so we want to do apply 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 that's five right one, two, three, four, five. We'll do six. That should be enough. Okay. So let's do disconnect. And send them back to Silva. Okay, that's fixed. That should send, well, it won't send him. I need to tell him to go past the signal. All right, third stop, Dillsboro East. Go ahead and force this guy to, oh, there he is. I was gonna say they, they're cleared of signal. So, just need to make sure I put a UZ somewhere about like right here for him. All right, let's go to Dillsboro East. We'll get them spotted on the water tower. We'll go ahead and water both of them while we're here. call this good for right now till I get till I figure out how I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff sorted out yeah this trains gonna be full all the way up I could really run four passenger trains um, there's actually enough I guarantee you that if I go back to Silva and I probably will right before I call this one done um, if I go back to Sylvia, I guarantee you there's enough people to fill up the train. Because we're rush hour. I really need to, to, to run some smaller passenger trains. Matter of fact, there's no reason for him to sit here because this train's full. So I'm going to tell him to just go on. Going to pass. Let's 
station stop. Trying to remember. Well, I'm I'm not even gonna worry about it. There's a way to do it. I don't want to reset it, so I'm just gonna let him go. We'll just wait. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, features. Let's do that. There we go. Okay. He's gone now. There needs to be like a, a go ahead and per train because this one's universal. Where he'll just go on. Um, because if I had two trains and I only had one that was running late, um, and I only want to send the one that's running late. They need to have a button where you can go ahead and send that train on so that it overrides the uh, the stop. Okay. Yeah, they need to take on water. He's good for coal. These engines actually don't use a whole lot of coal. Water consumption is something, however, that needs to be worked on. So how much did we make? How much have we made so far? Since we started playing, we have made a grand total of about... Well, we've made more than that because there's there was $86. There were two 86s from something. As passenger fares. Okay, 132. That's it. About a grand total of like, what is it, 208, 207, or 217? We've made a grand total of $217 in the two hours that I've been messing with this game. But the Silva Interchange is getting ready to get service, so we'll have we'll have plenty there. And I meant to look at my safety rating. Yeah, so we're at 80%. And depending on how those those cars that we looked at earlier, that may drop us down to about 50. Which would take our overall to like 90-something. Switch lined against us. That's right. Get him going. Should be the only one. Make sure he gets started. All right, you're done. All right, he's gone. All right, so we got some things worked out, and then we made a whole slew of problems, and then we fixed one thing, broke some other things. Um, get 801 going, and then that's going to be it for me because I'm starting to get sleepy now, which was the whole point was I was trying to wear myself out so I can actually go to bed. Where are we at here? Right there. Okay, so I can take him. That switch. Through that switch. No, wrong one. That one, that one. And tell him to... Go forward at 10. And that 
it should be all right because he's only got 11. okay let me just make one little last look around here so 14 of three is coming back and passenger train cannot go until they get back in so there's no reason to send them on because i don't have double track um which that would be a cool cool thing if they would if they would look at double tracking um if it became an option where you could double track your entire railroad or at least portions of it do away with the sidings because man if i had double track i'd have twice as many trains running because it would be just so much easier i mean we're we're basically running we're running as much freight as a class one would run and we've only got like 50 miles worth of track it's kind of insane how busy this game is just from you know what they have here what they've added it's not realistic to how this line was ran but this is a game so you want to have something to do so i guess in the next one we'll sort out the two interchanges i gotta find out where the hell my engines are that's one of the things that i haven't looked at yet where are my two I know where 734 and 735 are. Where is 736 and 7? Oh, I know where they are. They're at the coal. They're at the mine. That's where they are. That's why I haven't been able to find them. So we need to get the car, get those two out of the mine. 734 and 735 are going to be doing that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend all day and just let them take the stuff from Silva, run it up to Bryson, drop them, go to go to Andrews, grab that stuff from Andrews, come back to Bryson, and then we'll swap everything and we'll just do it that way. And I'll just run them until we get the loan payment tonight, and then we'll probably just go ahead and pick up some more engines. Or I could just run the Berkshire because it can it can handle that going downhill and it i've because i've done that before i've run the stuff from andrews so that's got to be done Let's see there's one two three four is there still six okay it's another one so there's five left this will finish at noon and there's still plenty of track there yeah and i'll just leave these guys here that's what I'll end up doing is I'll buy two more and well I have to buy two more then one more for the helper service and then um, what else is 801 stop it is why is 801 looking at another train Oh, okay. That's why. I was going to say, did they slide again? All right, so that's not what happened. Okay. So we still got to get this out of the way. That's the other reason why I can't run the passenger train. Basically, what I'm going to do with all these cars here, so when, um, when we come up here, I'm going to have to obviously make sure that I don't bury my locomotive but uh, I'm just going to take um, take this and just let it shove down the trail the tail track and then pull them forward as uh, as these get loaded. So that is this day in a nutshell at seven o'clock and I will be lucky to get three quarters of that done today. but uh, I'll try not to make as big a gap between episodes this time because hopefully life is going to slow down a little bit but that has been what's going on with the railroad and miraculously we were able to get 99 percent of the railroad open within 30 in-game days which was one of my goals so i will see everybody in the next episode